Hi, welcome to episode 3 and on this episode I would walk you through on how to create a bot. So creating bots on OKEG bot is as simple as clicking on create bot. When you choose on a create bot, you're being presented with a screen like this. On this section we'll have an iPhone, on this section we'll have an Android, a Windows and a Mac OS. Creating bots on OKEG bot basically means creating lots of browsers that would completely mimic a particular um, device. So for instance, if I choose to create um, browsers that mimics an iPhone, all I have to do is to slide over here. As you move each of these slides, it generates a whole lot of devices. Like you can see here, this is an iPhone X. Two iPhone X were generated. This is an iPhone 13 mini. Two were generated. This is an iPhone 8. One was generated and you already get the point. Now this is for iPhone devices and if I also slide over here, this is for Android devices. Now I could decide to slide for Mac OS and Windows and add every one of them to my device. But at the moment, I just want to test this on very few devices. So I'm just going to leave it at, let's say, six iPhones and let's say four Android. So currently I have six iPhone here and four Android here. Now the next thing is to give your bot a name. So at OKEG Bot, we made it possible for you to create lots of bots from a particular location and give them a name. The name is called a family name. So let's say for instance, I want to give this bot name um, a name to specify that they're going to be bots coming in from Abuja and I'm going to be using them to do a whole lot of tasks related to say um youtube so I, I can come right here and i will say youtube which is yt um yt i can say yt underscore ng so this means youtube underscore ng underscore abj so i can ask it this and uh, this might be the family uh okay let's just leave this now you can actually name it anything i can even name it any funny thing i want well, how about we name it funny but basically, you ought to use a family name that it's quite going to be making a reference to something. So using a name should actually remind you of every single bot within that name. So for instance, I'm giving this a name of Funny. Six iPhones, four Android, they all belong to the name Funny. Now each of them would be identified with the name Funny, but it would have like different order. One could be Funny, 001, Funny, 002 and so forth. Each and every single one of the device would have their own specific bot states which means they would have like you know a, a record keeping for every activity they perform. So um, do have in mind that it is best you save them with something that means a lot. So let's say for instance I for a person I want to use this for YouTube so I'm just going to save this instead of funny I'm going to call this YouTube. So I have this called YouTube and I'm going to do YouTube underscore ABJ. So this simply means I'm going to be saving this bot as YouTube underscore ABJ. Now I've been able to move the iPhone and Android I want so that is wrapped up. Now the second section is to put in your time zone. Now you know when you use a computer or a device it usually has a time zone or a time. A time specifically means what time is the device like the time currently on your clock what is it? Now for most people, um, they would sometimes use a VPN, but their time is different from their location. So let's say for instance, you currently have a computer, and on your computer you turned on a VPN. So let's say for instance, this is a VPN. Now I could put on a VPN on, and while this VPN is on, I could decide to change the location of the VPN to say something like the US. Now the US might be showing on my VPN because I've changed my IP. However, my current time zone is still showing Nigeria. So in as much as I'm claiming to be coming in from the US through my IP, um, something is making me easily get detected and that is my time zone. So you have to change the time zone on your computer when you're using a VPN. So nobody knows you use a VPN. Um, some websites don't care. Once your IP shows US, that's fine. But some other deep platforms like um, dating websites, um, social media platforms that are quite pac particular that they don't want certain people, they only want certain people from this area. If you use a VPN 
and you don't have your time zone which is the time on your computer you know as the same location let's say the the ip is in us or canada or uk but your i your sorry let's say your ip is in us canada or uk but your time zone is showing west africa and nigeria they could actually just get you banned and when you ask them they won't tell you they'll tell you we got you banned for certain reasons best known to us that's because they discovered that your time on your machine is different from the time on your vpn so what you should do is to make sure that whatever bot you're creating right here you're actually mimicking them coming in from a country so nigeria is very big and abuja is very big as well so i'm creating this bot and i'm calling them youtube underscore abj which means abuja this means that these bots whenever they all launch to do anything to perform any task i would want them to you know be having the time zone i'll be specifying below so i'm going to be specifying that time zone as africa and um lagos that's because the time for nigeria is africa stroke lagos it doesn't matter if you're in portacourt abuja delta Edo states as long as you're in nigeria the time zone is africa for slash lagos now if i'm going to be in the us i could just i could um, decide to use a time zone in whatever location i'm trying to mimic let's say i want to pretend like i'm in the you know um, I'm, I'm in i'm in let's say california i would have to head over here and um, try to look for the nearest time zone you know in california so if i type california i might not specifically be able to see california but um if i head over to google and try to search for what time zone does california use so they'll be able to tell me that okay california uses this time zone just like you can't find abuja over here but abuja uses the same time zone as africa um stroke lagos so i'm going to put africa stroke lagos now this done part is where you put in your process server by process server it means if you want to pretend you're coming in from somewhere else or you don't want to use the current network on your computer or you want to be using so many other networks so let's say for instance you have a modem or a wi-fi on your computer and so if you're automating different tasks um, they'll all be showing with one ip address so you want this ip address to you know be changing right but the problem is since you're using your own wi-fi if it changes every single bot would change to that ip which means that even if the whole bot were cloning devices correctly but there is a detection system and the detection is because they're all using the same ip so if you have like an ip address this is where you put in your process server your process ports the username you use in login into that process server and the password so yeah. i don't have anyone here at the moment i would not put in any process server or port i will just leave it blank i won't touch it the only thing I'm, I'm able to touch is the time zone the name and the devices i have already chosen. so next is to click on start build now it's going to build up all these devices it's going to generate them like you can see um youtube oh it says i've reached my maximum limits and i cannot create um bots anymore so what this simply means is that I have reached my maximum limits. That's because I'm currently using a free account. I've not upgraded this account um, I'm currently using to make tutorials. But if you're currently using the software and you're a new user, you should have up to 100 um, limits. So you should be able to create up to at least 100 bots. So since I already have this on, um, I will just simply head next into teaching you the next thing, which is how to create or how to execute a task. So on episode 4, I'll teach you on how to execute a task using bots you've created.